Hi, welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson. Untying the Moon is the debut novel from Southern storyteller Ellen Melfris. She joins us today to talk about the storyline of the novel and what her, her source of inspiration was for writing the book. Welcome to the show, Ellen. Thank you. You're welcome. You. So tell us a little bit about the novel, Untying the Moon. It's, it's a unique title. Thanks. Okay, so the main character, Bailey Martin, wakes up in Manhattan one day and realizes she has no business there. And so she hops in her 1967 Buick Skylark convertible and she takes to the open road. The opening part of the novel becomes this swath of a road trip from Maine down the backbone of the Blue Ridge all the way down to, to Key West. Um, and eventually the book becomes a novel of coming home, really coming to home port to the low country of South Carolina. She, like I, is a low country gal, mm -hmm. and despite the trouble that she finds for herself or the trouble that finds her, she eventually makes her way to the low country of South Carolina. Where she belongs. Where she belongs. <laughs> so it's only been out for a few weeks, but it's already got getting lots of attention and, and rave reviews. Um, how does that feel? It feels terrific. It right. feels terrific. I've been very fortunate, not only that Pat Conroy helped mentor me through the manuscript of this book, but he's written the foreword and I've gotten endorsements from Ron Rash and from Mary Alice Monroe, from Pulitzer Prize winner in Scott Mama Day. So that has certainly helped. And then yes, the reviews, the critics are so far, you know, <laughs> I know this won't last forever, but Golly, yeah. it's, it's nice to have it come out of the chute to such great Right, with, with great accolades. That's wonderful. So um, with the, uh, you know, uh, y you mentioned Pat Conroy, and um, how did that actually happen? Because that, that's pretty amazing. Well, Pat was a student of James Dickey, as mm -hmm. was I. Uh, Dickey was my mentor, buddy, uh, mm -hmm. graduate director for the MFA, and Pat had taken a class with him as well. And then Pat and I, though having met briefly like many of us do at book signings, actually came to be good friends in Maine. Oh. Um, a, a story that we'll have to talk about another day, right. too long to tell, but right. he and his wife Cassandra King, mm -hmm. the writer, and my husband Andy and I became fast friends there, mm -hmm. and he, he tricked me into giving him a writing sample, and when I suppose I passed muster, he began nudging and then yeah. nagging for me to yeah. complete That's this manuscript. How brilliant. That's wonderful. So with the gift giving season at hand, who would you say might really enjoy the novel? Who's the audience for the book? Well, it's adult fiction, mm -hmm. and I would say it's for everyone. I, uh, it's not chick lit, certainly. Right. It's the, the main character is a female, but there's great marlin fishing scene. There is, it's for, it's for everyone, and right. it's everywhere right now. Barnes & Noble has it, Beaufort Bookstore, Shavers & Savannah. Of course, you can order it on Amazon. Right. It's f everywhere, and it's for everyone. Readily available. So you mentioned the low country, obviously, that you described in the book, and you're from this area? I am indeed. Okay. I am, I am a homegirl. Okay. I grew up in Jasper County, but I have lived beside the May River for many, many years years now. I wake up in the morning and look out at the May River and I'm able to see the dolphins, which are key in this book. Right. Um, all the, the wildlife of the low country is, is key. It's something that matters to me. Coastal right. conservation is something that matters a great deal to me. And you bring me. it out in the book. And Bailey is that way as well. Yeah. She's, she's all about the rivers. Uh, I call the May River the Jericho River in the book and I call Bluffton Kirk's Bluff, the old name for Bluffton, right. but it's very much about rootedness, restlessness. She's restless, but she can't help but be rooted, as am I, to the low country to of the South area. Carolina. So you're quite busy uh, with your book tour, obviously, but are you still teaching at USCB? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm headed straight for class. You're multi-talented, yes. Yes, you're multitasking, yes. multi-talented, that's yes, wonderful. but everyone's been it's so supportive. My students are fantastic. Yeah, yeah. My colleagues. Well, they're so probably so proud. Everyone is is very proud. The yeah. book launches have been tremendous. There was one in Bluffton. USCB hosted one on Thursday night, um, and 
rooms filled, yards filled for for book launches. Congratulations Beautiful. and continued success. Thank you. You're welcome, Alan. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.